Pukla Saber, for the kid that always decides to be a prick, although he doesn't try to be. That one car for the kid that decides to go as fast as humanly possible from one town to the next, without being noticed by the cops. But generally, have you ever seen one of these things pulled over? I swear, these things, you could fly by a cop doing 75 miles an hour in a 50, and they're not even gonna blink. Top speed of these? 110. Are they comfortable? Yeah. Is there plenty of room in the back for activities? Yeah. I mean, the leather seats kind of squeak, but you can get over that. What's the problem with these? Transmissions and rot. The 4T65E transmission tends to blow up like a firework. Also, you'll replace an absolute shit ton of wheel bearings. You're gonna love driving it fast, but it's not gonna love you for doing it. This is a grandpa car that's supposed to be comfy. Also, the air ride suspension in the rear? You'll start hearing that thing once it fails start rattling and it's just plain old annoying. And just so you know, everything that I just mentioned, I have experienced because I owned one of these things. I loved it, I had it for like six months, and then I got my Mercury. My Mercury is faster, it's more fun driving around, but I'll tell you one thing, this thing is faster on the back roads. And also, it gets much better gas mileage. I got 33 in this thing. 33 miles per gallon on the highway! Cruise control. And I'm not talking like 55, I'm talking like 85. Buick LeSabre, the car that I'd recommend to anybody just as long as they get the transmission checked out. I will also mention that this was my dad's old Buick LeSabre. This thing had 240,000 miles before it rotted out. No oil leaks, no oil consumption, no problems with the transmission after it was rebuilt. 240,000 miles and it rotted out.